But yeah, that is that is the tier list. Before you go, Joe, can we ask this question? It's just it'll be a nice little click. Um, do you think we stay up? <laughs> <laughs> yes, no. um, can I just my, my internet's gone? No. Oh, um, nice. <laughs> Um, honestly, I just can't see how we do it from this stage. Like, I was looking at I was looking at the fixture list. We've got to beat um, Everton. We have to beat Norwich. We have to beat Watford. Watford yeah. We have to beat Southampton. We've got two games against Villa. You know, they're hit and miss. Villa. So we've got to win minimum four games, potentially even five. And where are them five? We've won three games all season with the way that we played against Brentford. Where are them five wins coming from? I just can't see us winning twice all season if we play like we did against Brentford. The thing that annoys me, and I've said it on Turfcast, and I've said it everywhere, is Dice is selecting the wrong team right now. Mm. I just don't think he's picking the team for our strengths. I think he's playing to our old strengths. He's still lumping... Let's watch the games against Brentford. He's lumping it into the channels. He's making Maxwell Corner chase the ball down the channels. He's not that type of player. And then Val Vegas is chasing the ball down the channels. Again, he's not that type of player. You need to get the ball into feet. You need to get... I mean, I'm... I keep praising Jack Cork and saying we should be playing Jack Cork. And I don't, I'm, again, I'm not putting Jack Cork on this pedestal of his, this amazing footballer because he's not. But I think he helps us play in the same way that Beckholz wants us to play. Like he will get the ball on the deck. He might do a lot of sideways passes. And he's, I've slagged him off for that myself in the past before. But he brings Brownell into the game, who, who, who can then drive forward. He brings Dwight McNeil into the game, who can then drive forward. He brings Connor Roberts into the game. He could bring Charlie Taylor into the game and any other midfielders that could be in there. He he gets he breaks the play down. He does the dirty work that goes un, un, unnoticed. Similar to David Jones early in the earlier years, that's what David Jones used to do. And then he, he'd be the same. He get criticised for doing crab passes, for just passing it sideways. But I think we need him in the middle at the minute. We need him or Brownell. Uh, sorry, and Brownell in the middle. Veghorst up top with Jay. Um, and then as bad as Dwight's been, I'd still play Dwight because I think. With Jack in the middle, he might help him out a little bit, and Beghorst coming deep into the middle because then that he can overlap and get into the space behind that Beghorst has created by dragging the defenders. I'm getting a bit technical here now, but that's sort of like how I see it. I just feel like first things first, if we are going to win games, which we need to do, we need to get Jack Cork in the middle and Jay up top with Vault, and I'd have Corny on probably one of the wings with Dwight, and then just see how we get on. Probably trial it against City. We know it's going to be a right off trial it against City. Uh, and then go all out against Norwich and say, this is where you play now, boys. Go and get the wins. It is possible. It is possible. We can win five games between now and the end of the season. But like I said, we've won three all season. So it's it's very difficult to make a case of, yes, we will win four or five games between now and the end of the season in 11 games, when in, what is it, 28, we've won three. Mm. So it's I'm at a bit of a loss at the minute of how we managed to do it. But we've done it before. So fingers crossed we can do it again. Oh, well, well, thank you very much, Joe, for coming on. Go subscribe to Turfcast. It will be in the description. Thank you very much for coming on and doing this. Again, thank Thanks you also to that. Connor. Lovely, lovely little Connor and his beard. Um, thank you very much, guys, for watching. Uh, and, yeah, we will see you in the next Talk BFC video. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs>